Welcome to another episode of Off the Plugin Chain. I'm your host, Dr. Tom. Today's video is going to be all about my top five audio plugins. Top five audio plugins, starting with number five. Number five is a saturation plugin by developer Brainworks. It's an emulation of a hardware unit called the Vertigo. This plugin enables you to shape the second and third order harmonics. There's a dial called the THD mixer that enables you to blend the second and third order harmonics if you're running the plugin in parallel. Otherwise, if you're running it in serial, the second order harmonic will be processed before the third order harmonic. The plugin works on stereo files. It's actually a mastering grade plugin, and it can also work on mono tracks. This plugin is available from Plugin Alliance for $149, although loyalty discounts are available, which can get the plugin down to $29 or $49. Plugin number four is a transient shaper. It's the Trans Reckon by EA Reckon. This plugin has a nice clean interface with easy to adjust knobs. If you were to survey the plugin's presets, you'll notice that there really aren't too many presets. This is because I th what I'd say is this is a definite sweet spot plugin, meaning that just by fiddling with the knobs, you can easily dial in the sweet spot of the plugin and just end up with great crisp sounding transients on all your drum tracks. This plugin is available from EA Reckon for 59 euros, which is about 70 US dollars right now. Number three is a reverb plugin. It's Seventh Heaven by Liquid Sonics. This is another emulation of a hardware unit. It's an emulation of the very high end Procasti M7 hardware reverb, which is probably the best hardware reverb that's come out in the last 20 years. It has a good selection of quality sounding presets. You can dial in halls and plates and rooms, chambers, ambience, and even spaces. You can easily adjust the pre-delay, EQ, and early late reflections, which makes this a great plugin, especially since you can EQ the reverb. You don't need to open up a second EQ plugin to EQ the reverb. It has a panel. If you were to click on this little arrow here, a panel comes down, which enables you to tweak the EQ settings. This plugin is available from Liquid Sonics for $69. Number two is a compressor plugin. It's another plugin by developer Brainworks. It's a, another emulation of a hardware unit called the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. This one includes emulation of Class A circuitry, which is just outstanding. Brainworks has another version of this plugin without the Class A circuitry emulation, and some differences in that one write off are that in that plugin it has green lights instead of the red lights here. It also enables you to dial in some settings which would give you maybe a more crunchy or gritty sound. This one on the other hand is just a tremendous very nice uh, mastering grade plugin that gives you a, a clean and transparent sound. You can get real separation between instruments. It just sounds outstanding. This plugin is available from Plugin Alliance for $329, which makes it the priciest plugin of the five that I'm talking about today. But there are loyalty discounts available. If you were to get the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor without the Class A circuitry first, then you could qualify to get this one for $99. I've also belonged to Plugin Alliance for a while, and I was able to get this at the awesomely low price of $29. So loyalty discounts are available and it, it uh, definitely pays off uh, if you're a Plugin Alliance member. Number one is an equalizer plugin. It's the FabFilter Pro Q3. The Pro Q3 is an outstanding mastering grade quality EQ. It has a very nice, clean, attractive interface which other developers have tried to copy, but with not as good a success. 
You can easily dial in high and low pass filters. It's very intuitive to use. You can uh, enter in cuts and boosts at a, a click of a mouse. You can perform EQ sweeps very easily. And it also has a number of other functions, including a dynamic EQ function. So this is a very nice, uh, clean plugin. If uh, you needed a, a plugin for mastering, you wouldn't need anything else other than this one. Uh, you could use it on all your other tracks. It could be your, your all around workhorse uh, EQ, except maybe if you were looking for a plugin that gave you some coloration like a Poltec emulation, then you might want to look at Waves or IK Multimedia. All in all, this is just an outstanding plugin. It's available from FabFilter for $179, and the price really put me off for a while. I kept uh, looking at other plugins. I would do a lot of research. I would download trial versions, make all these comparisons, and it finally dawned on me that if I were to get this plugin in the long run, it would actually save me money, and that's in fact what happened. After procuring this plugin, I have no no desire, no necessity that I would need a, an, a, an additional EQ whatsoever. I was able to find this plugin from Taman USA for $147, which I think was a very, very good price and worth every cent. All right, so those are my top five audio plugins. And Next time, I think what I want to do is start looking at some cinematic music cues and see if we can deconstruct those, see what's what's going on in those. I also have plans for another video where I want to talk about the various settings that I use to configure Voice Meter Banana so that I can record Studio One with OBS Studio. So look for that in days to come as well. All right, well, that's all I'm going to talk about today. So until next time, everybody stay well, stay safe, and keep being creative.